Hello everyone, in this video we are going to learn the manual therapy skill that is required to perform the functional release treatment for the upper trapezius muscle. Now, it is very common observation in the clinical OPDs that many of the patients who come to us with complaints of headaches, neck pain, shoulder dysfunction as well as the upper back pain can often have tight or spasmodic upper trapezius muscle. This technique is going to help the physiotherapist to quickly assess and treat the presence of trigger points and taut band within this particular muscle which can cause the improper functioning of the upper trapezius and produce variety of symptoms as were previously described. So let's get started with the treatment for this upper trapezius using the functional release treatment concept. So again it is the upper fibers of the trapezius muscles which are involved and to examine this the therapist is again going to go across the orientation of the muscle fiber and is going to look for the presence of taut bands or trigger points. Now taut bands are the area which are felt to be hard in texture as compared to the other areas and also when the therapist presses those regions often it harbors and have the trigger points which makes the patient to actually jump or grimace with pain. So these are the areas which we are looking to treat utilizing the function release method. So let's say for example we have found that there is a taut band right here in the upper trapezius muscle. So the therapist is again going to deliver a ischemic compression to this, that particular region and is going to hold this ischemic compression for around 60 to 90 seconds. Immediately following this ischemic compression, the therapist is going to utilize the joint movement that is the cervical spine is going to be moved in the direction of lateral flexion and back to the starting position in order to mobilize the taut band and also help in the elongation and relaxation of this particular structure. So the treatment is going to look like this. After we have delivered the ischemic compression, we are again going to deliver the same ischemic compression, hold that compression and is going to, the other hand of the therapist is going to grab the patient's head and neck and then passively the therapist is going to take the head into the contralateral lateral flexion and back to the starting position. So just observe what my right thumb is doing here. While maintaining the pressure over the taut band, as the head goes into side flexion, I facilitate the elongation of the trapezius muscle and as the head goes back, I facilitate the shortening of the muscle. And in this way, I can further help in the relaxation of the taut band, thereby improving the functioning of the trapezius muscle. This is again a very good treatment method to treat variety of muscle and facial tissues. Now please do note that if we have a larger area of taut bend in the muscle then rather than using the thumb and treating areas differently we can use the broader grips like for example in the previous video we showed one technique in which we utilized the pincer grip to hold the affected area. Now this is one way in which we can deliver the ischemic release to the trapezius muscle and followed by this we can also produce the function release of the muscle using the cervical lateral flexion and back to the neutral position. The other way is that we can also utilize the front of the knuckle area and we can just deliver the ischemic release in this way. And after 60 to 90 seconds we can facilitate and combine it with the myofascial technique and make it a functional release treatment. So side flexion facilitating the elongation of the taut bend and back to the neutral position. So these are the various options that can be tried by a physiotherapist. This was all about the functional release treatment for the trapezius muscle. See you all in our next video. Till then keep learning, keep sharing and stay connected.